Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Moonstarter token using Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency content coming out on my channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn how to buy, how to sell, and lots more to do within the space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, all we have to do is just head over to our Trust Wallets to start off here. I'm just going to let you guys know I'm not going to show you how to create your trust wallet in this video and I'm also not going to show you how to buy or transfer BNB to your trust wallet in this video. If you guys need to learn how to do either of those two things, I'll have separate tutorials linked in the description and in the comment section down below if you guys need to learn how to do those first and then come back to this video if you want to buy this token. Anyhow, once you have your BNB inside of your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet here, all you have to do is add the contract address for the token to trust wallet. So I'll have a link over to CoinMarketCap in the description as well. So you just want to head over to the CoinMarketCap link I have, and it'll bring you over to this page right here, where we're going to copy the contract address for this token. So we're just going to go beside where it says contracts here and go to this little copy button and click on that copy button. Once it's copied, we can exit out of here and go back into our trust wallets. And we just want to go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the two lines and two circles and just click on that. Then here we can just paste the contract address in the search. Once that is done here, we can enable the token and then click on done. Once we have the token inside of our trust wallet now, we, we just have to head over to the PancakeSwap exchange. So I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description as well. And I'll show you guys what to do when you guys are on PancakeSwap. And once you guys are on PancakeSwap here, the first thing that you have to do is go to the top right corner where you see the connect wallet button and click on that. And then right here, we can just choose on the trust wallet button. And then it's going to pop up this page here asking us to choose a preferred wallet. So we're just going to have to click Trust Wallet one more time. And then it's going to open up in our Trust Wallet asking us to connect just like this. So we just want to click on Connect to connect our wallets and then head back over to PancakeSwap. We'll know our wallet's connected on PancakeSwap when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right here. Now, for whatever reason, if you guys don't see your balance of BNB right here, you just want to ensure that you have your BNB inside of your smart chain wallet inside of your Trust Wallet. If you do not have it inside of your smart chain wallet, it will not show up on PancakeSwap. Anyhow, all we have to do now is click on select a currency. I'm going to paste that same address we got from CoinMarketCap in here as well. And then right here, we'll see the Moonstarter token. So we just click on import. I understand and import. Now, once you have that done here, all we have to do is just set our slippage tolerance. Now, I did not see a distinct number for a slippage tolerance, unfortunately, but I'll show you where to go to change it. You just want to go to beside where exchange where that little settings gear is and click on that. And then right here, you can set a slippage tolerance. And like I said, unfortunately, I didn't see any distinct number from the team at all. Uh, so I would probably start off with like maybe 1%, 2% area and then work your way up if it doesn't work. So for example, we could just start off at 1% right here and then close out of it. And then all you have to do is decide how much BNB that we want to transfer into the Moonstarter token. So let's just say if I want to do one BNB, I could do that. And then we'll show me the amount I'll get in exchange. So if you guys are ready to go, once you guys see your estimated amount right here, you just want to click on the swap button. And then you're going to show, be shown a broken down version of your transaction where it's showing you your fees and things like that. And of course, if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. And then you should get a successful transaction notice. And like I said, if your 1% slippage tolerance doesn't work, you guys can just work your way up. So if it doesn't work for 1%, you can go up to like 5% and try that as well. But yeah, uh, after you, you guys click on swap for the second time on that next page, you should be good to go and you'll get a successful transaction notice. And then, of course, you could exit out of here, go back into your trust wallets, and your token will arrive here usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you how to get the Moonstarter token using trust wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.